What's up guys, it's your girl Serpentine 10 and I want to talk about some footage that I found of M. Bison gameplay. So this seems like it may not be the same footage that GameStop has and I know that that one has been surfacing the net over and over and over again. So this one was in Japanese so I have no idea what it's saying. Um, it might be Japanese, Chinese, I'm terrible with languages so you guys gotta correct me on that. But it's interesting to see, you know, the M. Bison gameplay um, a little bit more before it comes out. I know that this will probably be leaked to death. And I know that a lot of different things are kind of all over the place, like his dialogue and even story, too. I heard about that. But we're going to talk about this gameplay today and everything that's happening in it. So um, what I have noticed in the uh, first thing is like the color swap. So it did show a couple of color schemes of M. Bison. We have a lot of like classic colors and I think that that is like really cool. Like having classic colors for M. Bison. I remember there was a green red and then there was like a white and like a metallic color. They were really, really cool swaps for the classic costume. So I haven't really seen too much of his default color. Um, here you can see that he has like the all black instead of red pants is all black. And I know that there's tons of footage online just talking about his overall gameplay. So you guys can definitely look at that because I am not the um, gameplay connoisseur. Also, there was like this cool Wolverine color that was like yellow and red or yellow and black. It was one of the two, but I thought it was looking so cool because I was thinking to myself, okay, like it's like gold and black or yellow and black. And I was like, that one looks nice. So the color schemes of M. Bison's costumes are looking really, really good. So it seemed like they actually hit the, you know, nail on the head with that. And I love the gameplay. They got a lot of like, you know, computer level seven. I never really understood why they don't let level eight computers show everything they can do. Capcom. If y'all listen to this, let me know why y'all don't do level eight. <laughs> so there was a couple of different characters that Bison was going against. Um, there was one with Ed and that one was really, really uh, interesting. I'm glad that they're on the, you know, Shadowloo stage. One thing I did notice that I didn't notice before in the trailer that he has these bombs that connect to you and they explode. It definitely reminds me of JP's move. Um, where it's like the homing crystals, but instead of them sticking to you, they just kind of like follow you. Now, I don't know if this was a move that Bison has had before. If this is new, I don't remember seeing M. Bison doing this. So y'all gotta let me know in the comments if this is new or not, but I can see that move being some trouble. Next, he went against JP, which is, you know, <laughs> crazy to say the least um it does seem like this is about to be the psycho power fight for sure um other than ed this fight is probably going to be really really crazy i am really interested to see uh how these two characters interact um just knowing m bison's dialogue in the beginning of his trailer that hints on him not really being bison but a really good clone of bison or bison that has just lost his memory i wonder if jp can pick up on that does he know the difference between a really nicely done clone and m bison and if so will he even mention that so we have to see what that is like when m bison comes out because i'm extremely curious then there was the cami fight so we kind of switched it up a little bit going back to akuma stage and he was dunking the mess out of her in this even though cami is very quick i would definitely say that bison is very quick now i know a lot of people don't like street fighter 5 bison he is you know kind of slow in that one that's probably the version of bison that um i never thought was interesting i feel like every other incarnation of him is really um good i feel like bison in other games was really well thought out but i don't know what's going on with street fighter 5 bison he seems like he's a little slow he doesn't seem like his um moves connect really well and in this game it seemed like they just kind of like threw a lot of it out the window he's fast he's quick and he's getting away with murder so Hammy might have a fight on her hands with bison especially with these like bombs and everything in the psycho crusher is really um making some distance i noticed so we'll have to see what that looks like 
Chun Li is another fast fight that I always felt like gave M Bison some problems. When you go against really quick players and really fast characters like you know Cammy, I wonder how he fares with people like Kimberly and maybe even like Jamie. They're so quick that I feel like if this was Street Fighter Five, I feel like Bison would just get ate up. But who knows? If you're a good player, I'm sure you'll be able to get around all this. But he was, you know, smoking Chun Li for the most part, and I just felt he got a lot of range this time. So we'll definitely see how he fares in, you know, those matches. Even though he lost here because these are two computers, I'm sure that when the pros get their hands on this, they're gonna go crazy. Another fight that could be very interesting to see is him going against Manon. So you know, Manon is a problem for a lot of people. She got long legs and she, she got a lot of reach. So Manon was never a character that I like to go against. I pretty much dislike her. I just feel like she gets away with murder her with her metal count and it doesn't change each round. So I want to see if M. Bison can smother her. I'm definitely going to play as M. Bison when he comes out and I hope that I get a, you know, a matchup with Manon just to see if he can like smother her, really slow down the match because I feel like Manon just gets away with anything that she wants and her metal count really does dominate what she can do. And she is a round stealer. So it'd be really interesting to see what he does there with this character. So we have Ryu here, the classic, you know, rivalry match of enemies. And it's really interesting to see that um these two are in the same room again it's kind of funny because i did see an ending um a title screen that was talking about what ryu was saying to m bison and that he can't believe that he's back again he, they thought that they got rid of him i mean think about a ryu a lot of people thought they got rid of him but it did not happen <laughs> So I can't wait to see like a lot of the voice lines on this because I know a lot of people, especially like Ryu, Kami, uh, Guile, they got to be wondering to themselves, what is this guy doing back? So this is probably the, one of the biggest mysteries right now in this game. Like what is Bison doing back? And is this even him anyway? So I know that Ryu and the whole, you know, who is probably going to be on their investigative, um, motives when uh, you know when bison drops so we have akuma here with this fight and this should also be interesting i feel like akuma is probably better than he's ever been i haven't heard too many bad things about akuma i think that when i was playing as him i was like so surprised at how quick he was how easy he was to play even on classic i thought he was really easy and i never thought that with akuma i always thought that shotos were really stiff but akuma was you know he was really loose he was easy to play as and that's a really good thing so i wonder if by will follow the same you know theme you know he might be easy and modern but will he feel not as trivial in classic because I think that he has always been deemed as a hard character to learn you know you really got to master him you got to get into the practice room if you want to understand him and will that change with classic and modern but we'll have to see for sure so the last match that I want to show you guys is with Luke. So I have not really been following anything that Luke has been really doing. It's funny that he showed up in the, you know, the reveal trailer, him and Jamie. So it's interesting to see them interact with each other, Bison and um, Luke here. But I don't know if Luke is still top tier. I know Luke was a very, very good character. I think that he was good in Street Fighter V. But I think that when he showed up in Street Fighter V at that point, he was so mediocre looking to me that I didn't really pay him any mind. And I feel like he's kind of forced upon us in this game because he's like the new poster boy. But you can't really avoid him. He's everywhere. So will he have a rivalry with Bison? Will he even be able to even come in contact with Bison? So I think that World Tour probably needs an update so we can find out more about Bison. But I don't know if we're going to get that. We definitely need that. But with all this footage that I'm showing you today, if you've seen it or not, let me know what you guys think about this footage of M. Bison. Also, let me know who you guys are looking forward to in the year two DLC. You know, we got my Terry and Elena and also Bison. So you guys let me know who you guys are most psyched about playing. And you guys know what you have to do. Make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter. Make sure you guys check me out here each week on YouTube. Until next time, guys. Peace.